Hey, EP's here in Edmonton, Canada. I'm standing with Mike Gallo, who is the producer from LucasArts, and we are at BioWare talking about Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is the Star Wars RPG that we've been waiting forever for. And Mike, you're gonna tell us all about it today, aren't you? Yeah, we're gonna take you through a bunch of the different aspects of the game, talk a little bit about the story, talk about some of the really cool things that you can do. Awesome, well, let's start off with talking about the story in this game. This isn't Han Solo and Luke Skywalker and Chewbacca that we're talking about, right? No, the game is set about 4,000 years before the time of the movies, so it's set in a really cool, unique time period that we've never really been able to explore. So, you know, we don't have to worry about dealing with Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, our character can be, you know, the main bad guy or be the ultimate good guy. Your main character is created by the player at the very beginning of the game. The other main character is a female Jedi mm -hmm. named Basila, and you'll meet her in the storyline, and you'll get to see how she integrates into that as well. Now, in terms of the gameplay, is it is it like a turn-based role-playing game, or is it closer maybe to like an action-oriented, like a Zelda-style role-playing game? What kind of gameplay we got talking here. The combat system is very unique in that it is rules based but it's done in real time. Okay. So it is governed by a set of rules and statistics but it's played out in the game in real time. You'll get to see all this amazing animation happen and get to see it, see stuff that looks like you've seen in the movies, right. but it's being governed by a rule system. Obviously, Star Wars is a very familiar thing to a lot of people. What are people gonna see in Knights of the Old Republic that they're gonna sort of remember about Star Wars? Well, one of the really cool things in the movies is the lightsabers, so we, we focused a lot on that in the game. We spent a lot of time really researching and doing a lot of cool animation and stuff for them. For the Excellent. Game. So, I'll show you the lightsaber combat lab. Hey, Casey. Hey, Mike. We're just uh, working on some of the lightsabers here for the game, but the lightsaber is a very dangerous weapon, so we've got the guys trying them out, and we're gonna see uh, some of the combat moves right here. We need some back to in a droid hand to the lightsaber room. Stat. Was that supposed to happen? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, I think everything's all right in there, actually. Everything's okay? Yeah, why don't we go look at the blaster range? Okay. And we have Greg Zeschuk, who's one of the co-CEOs right. and executive producer on the title, I'm actually Greg. in here testing out some of the weapons. Awesome. I, uh, Greg! Greg! Greg, oh. Greg! Oh. Hey, uh, easy there, buddy. Yeah, sorry there, Vic. How's what are you going? doing, man? I was uh, trying out the Zabrak Disruptor Cannon. Here at BioWare, the uh, designers, programmers, and artists are figuring out all kinds of cool weapons to add to the game, and this is just one of them. Awesome. It, it, do you have, like, one favorite gun? Um, yeah, I, there's a Mandalorian heavy repeater. It's like one of those big chain guns that shoots blaster bolts, and then you can upgrade that. There's a specialized one you get that's really just, you know, there's blaster bolts flying everywhere. Awesome. Well, it, it's, it's obvious to me that you, you need a little more practice, so I, I'm going to let you uh, get back to that, and uh, we'll catch up with you later, man. Yeah, thanks. No problem. Okay, take bye -bye. it easy. What else you got, Mike? Something a little safer, please? Wow, is this your spaceship? Yeah, this is my baby, the Evan Hawk. This thing's awesome, man. Is, is this how you're getting home? Yeah, I'm taking it back to LucasArts. How do I get one of these? You don't. Bye, bye! 